Whoa. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Merle, and today we are going to be trying another viral video that you all sent to me. This one, I'm a little skeptical. A lot of you sent me this video from Going Zero Waste, and I have to say, so cool that she's been doing all of these scrappy food challenge videos for herself, just ways to make your food scraps go further. I'm a little skeptical, I can't lie. Basically, we're going to be making vegan honey from corn cobs. But that's okay, I've been skeptical before and I've been proven wrong. It looks really simple and that's what draws me to this one in particular because I feel like I can whip it up in no time. So, I mean, I love it because it's A, it's vegan. B, it's making your food scraps go further for you, which we love to see it. And three, it's honey. I like honey. I'll make sure to link the original video in my description. So without further ado, let's get to cooking. I love how simple this is. The base of it is just two corn cobs and two cups of water. And we're going to put our corn cobs in our pot and then cover them up with our water. We're gonna bring our water to a boil and then we're gonna let our corn cobs simmer for about 15 minutes. Ooh, it already smells sweet. Oh, look who stopped by to say hello. It's the big girly. Ooh. Say hi, TT girl. Who's a little girl? Who's a little girl? Are you a little girl, TT? Are you a little girl, TT? Are you a little girl? Are you a little girl? Are you a little girl? T T. Down you go. Oh two T. Oh T T. Oh two T. Oh T T. Does anybody else have nicknames for their pet that have literally nothing to do with their actual name? If you do, please comment below. I'm trying not to let this boil too much because the water is what we really want. Okay, so now our corn cobs have been simmering for 15 minutes and it's time for us to quickly strain this water because there are a lot of loose little kernels floating around in there. Hot, 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 hot. Let's strain this. All right, we've got our water. This only makes about a half a cup. I think on hers it looked like it made a full cup, but mine only made a half a cup, so, I mean, it's all good. Whatever. Since I only have half the amount of liquid that she has, I'm gonna also half my other ingredients. So instead of one tablespoon of cornstarch, I'll use a half a tablespoon of cornstarch. And instead of a quarter cup, I'm using an eighth a cup of sugar. I'm gonna put this on a low heat and give it a little stir so that the sugar starts to melt and it all blends together. Now we're gonna add a little bit of turmeric for that classic honey color. And we're gonna heat this up until it properly thickens. You know, I always thought honey was like one of the more innocent animal byproducts for a long time. Cause I was like, oh, well bees make honey anyway. But the reality of it is actually pretty weak. I will link some info in the description below so you can see what I saw. A lot worse than I thought, to be honest. Ooh, she's looking golden. Goldine, Goldeen. Goldeen, Goldeen. Goldeen, is that what she sounds like? Goldeen, 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 Goldeen. Goldeen, Goldeen. Ooh, smells interesting. I'm like, is the turmeric gonna be overpowering, I wonder? Turmeric's not shy, you know? You know what I mean? Smells like kind of buttery, actually. So the sugar's gonna make it a little more liquidy and less thick, because I also saw that this recipe was inspired by The Daily Dish, where they made a corn cob jelly. So by adding the sugar, it'll you know keep it from getting super, super, super solidified. That's the scientific way to explain it to you. Super, super, super solidified. Wow, it is thickening up now. Okay. All right, this is officially thickened up and I'm going to pour it into my cute little jar here and we're gonna let it cool down and then give it a shot. Jiggle, 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 yeah. Ooh, look at that texture. Damn. This is really impressive. Whoa. The color of this is gorgeous. The texture of it is spot on. And it feels like we made something from nothing. It's just corn cob water. I mean, you you know, <laughs> you were there. All that's left to do now is taste it. 
Oh, this is the part I'm nervous about. It's corn water. I don't know. Is it going to taste like a mouthful of turmeric? Mm. Whoa, a couple things. First of all, it definitely has that honey feel in your mouth, but I can taste the corn 1000%. I would never confuse this for honey per se, but it has more of a honey flavor and that nice sweetness than I expected. It doesn't taste exactly like honey. On a scale from one to honey, I would give it like a seven probably, because the look and the texture are golden. Oh, that was pretty good. I think I added too much turmeric to this. Now we're gonna add a little bit of turmeric. I got a little carried away maybe because I can definitely taste the turmeric. I'm gonna try it on some toast because I feel like this is how I would actually eat it. I would never, I don't normally just take mouthfuls of honey. Oh yeah. I mean, pop this on like with some peanut butter, some jelly, toast and butter. Vegan butter. It can function just like honey. And it's nice to know that there's another sweetener out there if you're vegan and you don't eat honey, but you also don't have access to like agave, which is commonly substituted for sunny, for honey. So this could be a nice little middle ground. I just think it is so freaking cool that we were able to take corn cobs, something we would have disposed of, and give it a second life. Thank you guys for sending it to me. Thank you Going Zero Waste for sharing this recipe. If you'd like to join my Discord, there is a link below if you wanna hang out, chat with me. Thank you for watching. Thanks for sending this in. Mwah.